Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today our artistic journey brings us to the famous portal effect and I'm going to show you how to do it with just one photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Okay, let's get started. As you can see here, this is the direction we're going into and this is our starting picture. You can see it's just one photo, there's no extra photo trickery just putting the portal in there and adding some nice cool effects. Okay, so let's get started fresh. Close this, boop, and there we have our picture. The first thing we can see here is we have a little bit of a halo around the leg, so we don't want to have that. So we are going to use our in-paint brush to remove that. That should only take a second. And by the way, as you can see here, this time I opened up an image right away. So the layer is background, it's locked. So let's click on the lock so it's unlocked. It's a pixel layer. And we go here on the left side to our in-paint brush tool and just paint a little bit over the area where we have our halo. Maybe it was a little bit too much. So you can see down here there's a little bit of an error. So let's try that again. Oop. And that should be good. Okay, hmm. fix that a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, cool, good. So the next thing I want you to do is to make the picture a little bit darker, not as the final result, just so I can see better the portal effect that I'm putting into the picture. And then we're gonna adjust the colors at the very end. So throughout the video, if things look a little bit strange, that's because you will adjust everything at the end, not during the process because things are changing during the process. So click down here, as you can see on this little icon here, and then select curves. And let's pull this down a little bit so we make the picture darker. Also make the bright values a little bit darker like that. Oop, okay, that wasn't intended. By the way, if you make a second point here by accident, just right click on the second point and it will delete that. Um, so that's a quick way to get rid of that. Okay, good. So that's good enough for now. The next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to use our rectangle tool to just create a rectangle over our guy like that. Okay, so now that we have done this, the next thing we need to do is to right click and convert to curves. The reason for that is we want to bend the sides so we get kind of a perspective look in here uh, with our, well, rectangle shape basically. For now, I will um, set the fill to zero so we can see our guy and also make a stroke. So let's click here, white stroke color and make a little bit of a stroke. We don't need that afterwards. I will reduce it. It's just so we have an outline. We can see what is going on. Okay, let's zoom in here. You can hold control and then use your mouse wheel to zoom onto the point where your mouse is pointing. So that's a nice trick to know. And now that this is curves, we can have these nice note points here that we can adjust. And to be able to adjust that, you need the note tool. Where is the note tool? Here on the left side, you see this white arrow. That is the note tool. If you don't see that, you might see the pen tool, which looks like that. So click and hold on the pen tool. You get this kind of pop out menu and then you see the note tool and then select the note tool, of course. And you can select several notes at the same time by clicking and dragging. So you get this white frame, the notes turn blue and this means you can move them together. So let's move this in here. Let's say our portal, mm, let's start it here. I would say it's a little bit too high up. So let's select this point here and hold the shift key. So this will lock it in one direction. And you can see here, we have this kind of pink line and the it's following this pink line. If you move it too hard outside, it is turning into a 45 degree um, guideline. So let's move this down uh, until here. That looks good. And then also move in these other two points. Let's say we move them till here. It's a bit different from my starting picture, but that's okay. We, we can do whatever way we want. Artistic freedom. That's a good thing. So again, hold shift, click on the lower node and move that in. So it's kind of perspectively, we have to eyeball that a little bit so we get a portal 
that kind of looks good and feels good doesn't have to be 100% correct. Um, maybe we make this portal a little bit higher again. Okay, like that. Let's look at this. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So now that we have created that, um, I will reverse my settings. The reason for that is um, I want to create the portal glow with my layer effects. And by the way, a little bit sneaky. Um, the next pack that I'm creating for this month is a laser effect pack, laser styles effects that you can use. I'm not gonna use it in this video. I'm gonna show you how to use it from scratch. Uh, but just to give you an idea, down here you can see you have created these kind of laser light effects and you could potentially then just click on these different effects to create it like thin versions and thicker versions of this kind of laser light we are not going to do that right now so let's undo this and go back there we have our original setting good so now what i want to do is set the stroke color to nothing again and then set the fill color to white like that. Okay, good. So with this in place, what we're going to do is click over here on effects and there you have your glow effects and also your inner glow and also your outer shadow. So I wanna explain why I'm not making an outline and instead using uh, the opacity. So you can see I can reduce the fill opacity. So the fill is going empty again. The reason for that is if I use the inner glow, I want to have the inner glow actually on the inside, but if I have a line, this would be inside of the line, not inside of the rectangle. So that's a big difference. Okay, so what we are going to do is to click here on fill opacity and set it to zero. So nothing is showing from the fill opacity and then click on outer glow and first of all click on this little hook wheel here um, to open up the layer effects and this will give us some more effects you can see here this has opacity and radius but this also has intensity which is very important for us and also the blend mode which can also be handy so let's click on outer glow first let's select a nice pink color and set up the radius and you will see that this is on the outside let's make this a little bit bigger let's say 150 you can enter this as a number and you can make the intensity a little bit stronger and we want to have a nicer kind of glow color this looks good okay so you can see here now that this glow is just on the outside of the rectangle but not on the inside of the rectangle if we would have a line, it would be on the inside and the outside because it would follow the shape of the line. This is not what we want. Okay, so let's turn this on again. And then we're going to create an outline. So this is going to be our white line. Okay, good. So now we have our color radius and we can set it up like mm, this looks good. Okay, cool. So now we make our inner glow. You can see here inner glow. Let's set up also a nice color maybe a little bit darker than the outside glow set up our radius mm, like that let's see with the intensity well let's go like this okay cool and now i want to show you secret sauce for my videos i haven't used that word in a time uh, but i want to bring that back of course so outer shadow can also be used to create glow you didn't know that right so um shadow doesn't sound like glow so you can hear with the blend modes and this is why it's nice to have this also in here uh we can set up for example normal so we have just the color and you will see now when i set up a color let's make the radius and the intensity so we have an effect here not the offset we don't want to have offset it should be in the exact same position um as our original glow and you can see here that nothing happens for some reason <laughs> that's not good um i think we need more radius yes okay we need more radius like that let's reduce the opacity a little bit intensity mm, like that okay good so now you can see when i move this around that we actually can mix two different colors in our glow which is very nice so we can put in some blue here for example we can put in some orange 
Um, let's make this radius a little bit smaller. And this also gives us kind of a gradient, kind of a more interesting glow for our creation. So you can see it's just, it's just a slight effect, but it's there and it makes it more interesting. You can see this is without it. And this is with the shadow, just a little bit of a like tiny orange hint in there that makes it more interesting. Okay, so we have created our portal effect. It looks different like in the original picture, but like every time you create something from scratch, of course, it's going to look a little bit different. By the way, let's check again on our perspective if this is good or not. I feel like the lower part here is a little bit extreme, so that's a good way that we have our curve. I can just go in here and drag this down a little bit. Um, let's go like that. That looks a little bit better. Okay, cool. Good. Maybe also make the whole portal a little bit higher. Push this up a little bit. Bring it back again. Okay, good. So I know that the portal is still over the guy. We don't care about that for the moment. We will fix all these things at the end. Uh, so the next thing we want to have is a little nice sparkly effect around our portal. So for that, I'm going to set up a pixel layer on top of my curves layer. And you can download um, different kind of brushes from the internet. You can also uh, use the brushes that come with Affinity Photo. For example, here we have these kind of texture brushes that you should also have. It's, I think it's part of the purchase. Let's see what we have here. We have to go to brush, of course, so we can actually use that. Uh, let's set the colors white. That's good. Let's set that to white. That looks pretty okay. And actually, I'm going to copy these, uh, the glow effect that I created for this layer. So you go right click and then copy and then click on the pixel layer. And you have to go up here to edit and then paste FX. So these are the layer effects. So now um, we have the same effects on here. And they look very strange for some reason. Let's paint a little bit on that. No. Something is not right here. Oh, that's because of the outline. So let's turn the outline off. Okay, that already looks better. We ha probably have to adjust um, our settings for the brush in a second. Oh, oh, this is a nice one too. Okay, that's a bit too extreme. Um, let's go with this one here. Push it all around um, our gate. That's a bit too much. Hardness, more. Let's set the spacing a little bit further apart. You can see here more and then you have these settings for your brush. Okay, so let's try this again. Paint around that like this. And then I'm also going to use my um, eraser brush, uh, set it to the same kind of brush and just brush over this so we re re reduce the effect a little bit a little bit too strong. Okay, so that's better. Good. Uh, let's go to our brush again. Let's set the opacity a little bit lower here. Maybe make it a little bit smaller also. Boop, not, not too much. Like that. Maybe we can add some smaller details here on the sides. Yeah, was maybe a little bit too much. That's just a hint here and there. Okay, good. So now let's set up the glow effect for this because as you can see, this doesn't 100% um, uh, work for us. Am I on the right layer? Yes, I am. Okay, good. So turn off the glow, turn on the glow. Uh, let's go in here again. Outer shadow. Let's turn that off. So we only have the glow now. Uh, let's see with the radius. Well, that's actually good. Can make it. Hmm. Let's go like this. Uh, let's see with the color, maybe. Should we use a different color for our little particles here? Can 
can make them a little bit like different. Okay, that's interesting. Good. So now we have our portal in here. I still feel like I want to erase a little bit more. Let's take our eraser again, maybe take this kind of grunge brush here. Just to paint over this, it's a bit too extreme, I feel. Okay, that looks better. Good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to have also an inside glow for my portal. So let's duplicate this one. Duplicate our portal. And I want to turn off the effects here, set the fill again to 100% and then select a nice color maybe like this and set this to soft light. So you can see we have an inside color for the portal. This doesn't completely fit for the color. So let's pick a color here from the colors we already have. That is a bit nicer. Let's see. I wanna have it maybe a little bit more violet. Whoops, not here. Um, Yeah, that looks better. Okay, good. Make it a little bit um, soft. So Gaussian blur. Like that. Okay, good. All right, so we have created the portal so far. Now we have to adjust the different parts of it. And um, I think I wanna go in here again. Sorry, one, one second for the curve to set up the color a little bit differently. I feel like this is a bit too much orange effect. Okay, where's the strong orange coming from? Oh, okay. Let's put this below. Okay. Okay. So that's better. Good. So it was just the mixing of our uh, violet with the curve that made that kind of strange looking effect. Okay, good. So the next thing I'm going to do is let's put all of these, uh, actually just the curve and the pixel layer into a group like that. And then I will duplicate that. No. That didn't work. I will duplicate that. Okay, so let's hide one of those and rasterize the other one. Rasterize. So you right click on that and then you rasterize it like that. Looks horrible now because the blend mode is gone. So we have to set it to screen again and now it looks like it looked before. And the reason why I do that is because now if we paint a mask on it, the mask is not going to really work with the, the blend like glow effects that we set up. It's going to look strange. So you have to rasterize it. Now we can put a mask on that and we can paint in the mask. I will, by the way, hide the inside of the portal. So we're going to have a better like view of what we are doing. Okay. So with this set up, let's go here to our basic brushes, select a nice uh, like soft brush here, color black like this. And you can see now we can paint on that, make it a little bit bigger. And I can now paint out every part that I don't need in my creation here. Good. This is over the leg, so we can leave that. So that's pretty okay. Now we have our portal effect here. That's good. We shouldn't be able to see the leg because that's coming out of the portal. And in this case, let's make a simple adjustment because it's kind of covered by the effects anyway. Let's just push this these parts together. So I will select my background. I will make a new 
pixel layer on top of the background, you can see I turned off the other effects. The reason for that is now I'm going to use my patch tool, which is in here. So click here and hold. So you get this list, select the patch tool and select current layer and below. So I'm going to, let's see, where's the portal starting? The portal is starting over there. So let's make a line down here, select all of this, maybe also with the traffic sign and simply make, mm, simply go like this. Doesn't have to be super precise because like I said, the portal effect is over there anyway. So you click twice and this is covering it up. It's not looking super good, but when we turn the portal on again, you're not gonna really see anything in there. So that's pretty okay to have it like that. Good, so the portal looks a little bit weak at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to duplicate this. So we have double the effect and it's kind of brighter and nicer to look at. Good, now we can also turn on the inside again. Whoa, okay, so we have to create a mask for that too. This doesn't have any effects on it. Oh, it has a little bit of, Ah, a Gaussian blur, but that's okay. We don't need that glow actually. So let's turn that off. This is where the orange came from. So now we have clarified that. Let's create a mask for that too. And again, use our brush with black on it and just paint out everything. So now that we've done this, let's create a little bit of glow over our guy. So we will go here and create an ellipse. And this is, by the way, this is a like simplified way to create this kind of glow. You can paint it on here by hand to have a super nice effect, but it's pretty hard to do. It takes a lot of skill and experience. I will link a video in the video description from Benny Productions, with his, which is another channel. He's really amazing at that. Um, but I feel like it's pretty hard to actually get it right. Um, so I'm not gonna do this in this video. I wanna keep it easy and simple so you can follow the video uh, and have fun with it. Okay, so we are just going to create this ellipse, no outline as you can see. For now, we will leave the fill color and I will simply create um, Gaussian blur. So this is nice and blurred. So you can see here and set this to screen and we will take as the fill color, the color we have from the portal. So let's just, you see here the drop uh, icon sample um, tool, select the color and then click. So this color gets activated and just move this over here. We can make this a little bit bigger like that. Okay, like this is good. And then let's use the same thing down here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. It's a bit too big. Okay, like that. Okay, um, you can see this is sticking out to the side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this curve again, duplicate that. I will um, remove the mask that we painted before. So we just have the curve and now I will simply select both of the ellipses, control G on the keyboard. So this is a group. And then we can right click and mask to below. So this will limit it to our, um, to our portals. You can see here, this is sticking out and now it's not sticking out anymore. So there's a pretty simple way to do that. Um, it's a bit too much. Oh, let's reduce that. Oops, so just a tiny bit here and a little bit up here. All right, so we have this effect basically, and now um, we're gonna recreate this down here, which is rather simple. We only need to copy everything down there. So that should be a quick way to do that. Um, so. You can see here we have these different groups with all of our stuff. I will select all of them, control G. Let's see if that works. Yes, it works. Okay, good. Because sometimes it changes the way things look, but in this case, that worked fine. Um, let's duplicate that real quick. And then 
with this group selected, go here to arrange and flip vertically. So now it's upside down and we can simply move this down here in a straight line. So it's almost sitting on the guy. Okay. So that's kind of good. Okay, let's reduce the opacity because this is a reflection, shouldn't be that strong as the original. Okay, cool. And now the only thing we have to do in here is to uh, adapt our masks, of course. Uh, let's delete this one. So you can see here the duplication of our um, gate, so I don't have to paint the mask twice. Let's go in here and use our paint brush again you can see paint brush you can set it to white and to black depending on if you want to you can see here this remove stuff and the other one if it's white it's adding stuff to the mask so black to remove things so let's paint this in here real quick and then white to add things over here you can see it's really easy and fast to do these kind of things like that. And then we add here the line again. So like this, reduce. Okay, this is in the reflection, so we can leave that. Um, do we have some more? No, that's basically it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. So, uh, by the way, let's have a look at this. If this maybe is enough, let's duplicate our portal. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, good. And also for this mask here, you can see here, it doesn't line up correctly. So let's do the same thing here. I feel like that's good enough. And this also should be good enough. Okay, perfect. So I would say basically that looks pretty dope. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is adjust the background. So what I want to do here is to create a rectangle. So a rectangle tool over all of the background like this. Um, the reason I'm doing this is to give it like a more night kind of look. Uh, so set this to soft light as the blend mode. And then as a fill, I want to use a gradient with um, blue. So let's set a darker blue here and then maybe a little bit different blue on the other side like that. You can see it's going from left to right, which is not what I want. So let's click on the gradient tool and we can move it like this. So in the sky, it should be a little bit brighter. And on the dark, uh, on the lower part, on the uh, ground, it should be a little bit um, darker. Okay, let's readjust our colors. And also the blend mode. Okay, this is way too intense. So opacity, reduce it. Well, like this is okay. Um, let's go into our curves again, let's see. Whoa, okay. Good. I would say we are done. It looks pretty cool, I think. So write in the comments if you want to see more of this kind of tutorials. I hope you liked the laser portal effect that we did here. 
And if you like the video, please leave a like, share the video if you can. This helps my channel tremendously. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click the little bell button so you get reminded of new videos that are coming to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next step of our artistic journey. Bye.